Hey guys, welcome back to the Journey YouTube channel. This is I, I the Great. Alright, today we are going to talk about, you know, this is just um, the part 2, an extended video, the extension for the video um, about diet, you know. The true consumption, you know, the true maintenance of the body for immortality, right? So, we are going to deal cells from now on because cells are the basic. Um, cells are the basic, uh, um, basic thing, you know, the basic part of any living being, the smallest little division of any living being, that's a cell. So, the smallest unit of you, of a living being, is a cell. So let's, uh, let's break it down, you know, from there, so let's take it from cells. So a cell now. The smallest unit of any living thing. Cells don't consume food. Cells don't eat food. Cells um, survive of prana, uh, uh, meaning just air, oxygen. Well, not just oxygen, prana, just air, the life force. That's what cells use to survive. Cells don't um, eat. Cells don't need food to survive. You get, you get the best they don't eat. Cells don't eat. So why humans eat? If, if if your cells them are what keeping you alive, you know why do humans need to eat? The cells of human bodies don't consume foods, don't consume food, you know. So why we eat food? Who are we feeding? You literally not feeding the body. So whatever you put in, whatever food you put in the body, whether it be an apple or an orange, it the body only absorbs the vitamins and the life force, you know life force not just the vitamins because i deal with spirituality here so i try to make it less physical so the, the body the cells absorb the life force from the fruits because of the energy you get to me say everything is energy so you put whatever food you put in your body is energy the purpose of energy you put food in your body for right i don't think people just walk in around eating because they want to eat you know if you're hungry that's your body telling you that it wants energy and if you don't eat you'll get weak so it's just for energy. Energy is the purpose why we eat. That's the reason we eat, you know. Forget energy. And whatever you consume is energy. And it has a frequency, so that's why you always talk about dead food. You don't want to eat dead meat. Dead dead flesh don't carry a vibration. It's almost like zero. It has a frequency but it has a dead frequency. It, it, it's like zero, zero to none, you know. Zero Probably are less than zero too, I tell you, because zero is actually a number we mean neutral. I mean I think dead flesh neutral. I think it less, less than neutral. Anyways, um as I say, the dead food them not carry off, them not have a vibration, them not have a charge, them don't have an electric charge, them don't have an electromagnetic charge, them don't have a frequency. So that means that you have just put dead things in your body and all dead things do to your body is just intoxicated it just make your body more toxic it makes your body a more toxic environment for the cells to live in therefore the cells will start to divide you now cell division is what causes people to be dead you know the more the cells then divide there are things on the edge of the chromosomes on each cell each cell that are called telomeres you see every time the cell divide every time the cell divide itself the telomeres get shorter and shorter and shorter until they get so short till they're non-existent and then you're dead and you know and casket and people are crying a funeral or some shit or you get cremated some you know but they're dead now in order to stop the telomeres them from in order to stop the cell from splitting from dividing itself you have to make the environment more favorable for the cell if you are, make it toxic because as I tell you you see what the cell doing in a toxic environment it starts to divide itself because I try to pass on it DNA before it dies if the cell realizes that it's dying the cell will re recreate that's what it will do it will procreate for care carry on the genetics that is a survival mechanism for the cell if the cell realizes that the environment is very toxic not very favorable it will just divide itself that's what it will do it's not nature it will split itself for carry on the genetics Make sure, say, your information survive. 
you know, for the next generation. Now, if the environment is favorable for the cell, you know, the environment is very favorable. The cell love the environment when you know, which is the environment of breatharianism. You know, the Egyptians they used to do it. I tell you, it, it was the lifestyle of the ancient civilization. They never used to eat a lot of food. They used to consume maybe twice or thrice. You know, I don't know, maybe twice or thrice for the year. Maybe four, maybe four times for the year they used to eat. Believe me, a true thing. And they used to live. Read the Bible. The Bible tell you of the age, the age of them many years where in the in the, in the past. And tell you the age when them live to 400 odd, 500 odd, 600 odd years old. Noah live, you know, a lot of them people here live till them are much in hundreds of years. You don't see humans living like that anymore. The humans, the average human today is dying at 100 years old, easy, you know. Some don't even reach 100. Some dying at 60, 70. You know what I say so? This is the thing that, you know, so this clearly shows you say, the men back in the day were doing something that we were we are not doing today, which is they are consuming less food, you know, they were consuming less, they were consuming less, they were producing, they were like trees, you know, trees don't need to consume nothing from the earth, they just produce, they produce fruits for humans, plant, you know, other plants, other animals, but what, the trees, them, them are produced, what them are feed off of? The sunlight, the sunlight that feed them, same like how the sunlight make them leave them greener, you know. And that's what them do, them store so them store the energy in them leaves and that, 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 that's what feed them, that's where they get most of their energy from, the sun. That's where the trees get most of their energy from, the sun. So they use mostly sunlight energy and black people have the ability to do that. To use sol solar energy, as we, have the ability, we have the ability to use it, we have the ability to store it because that's why we go into the sun. The skin get black, that's you storing UV, you know, you storing sunlight energy. That's your body storing sunlight energy. So why you need food? You don't need food, which is why the people used to live so long back in the days. They used to hardly consume anything from the earth. They just used to consume from the sun, sunlight energy, pranic energy from the air, and they used to live forever, you know. <laughs> that's the key to immortality, and that's the stage of humankind are going on right now, you know. Believe me, more and more people will will, will start to go towards breatharianism, which is breatharianism is just eating little to no food, you know, <laughs> little to no physical food. Because as I said, you shift from 3D to 5D consciousness. You shift from 3D to 5D consciousness, people. You will take on a, a reality much more physical and less. No, sorry, we will take on a reality much more spiritual and less physical. And when I take on a reality much more spiritual now, food is a very physical thing. Physical, solid food is a very, you know, is a form of energy where very solid, it's a dense form of energy. You know, solid food is a dense form of energy. A dense light, even fruits is condensed light. I just light energy condensed. So when I eat a piece of fruit, a light you yeah, eat. Light from the sun, solar energy, same way. Black people have the ability to consume to absorb solar energy in a natural form. Not every being can do that. Why people can't do it? They don't have the, they don't have the capacity, they don't have the melanin and they don't have the energy to make up for that. To get energy from the sun. We make up for that. We consume from the sun and from the air. You know, we don't need to consume from the earth. We don't need to rub our, we don't need to rape our, we don't need to niam, we don't need to be greedy, you know. When you're greedy now, you're going to a lower state of, of being. If you can bring yourself in a fucking abundant state of being by not needing to consume nothing, which is what black people can be, we can be immortal, you know? If you don't need nothing to survive, and you sell them, you're not consuming no toxins, you know? So you sell them in a very peaceful state. They're not gonna divide, and you will live forever, you know? They're not gonna split. If they don't split, you tell them here, they don't get shot on the chromosome tips, and you live forever. It's simple as that. So the less you eat, and the longer you live. <laughs> it sounds funny though, please. Yeah man, the diet is literally what it means. Look at the word with diet. It's to kill you, you know? Diet. It's to kill you. So if you want to live forever, you just come off of the diet. You know? Consume less, you know. Consume less. Big up the journey YouTube channel. And as I said, the shift from 3D to 5D consciousness will bring up more. Reality. So beings will stop.
stuff to eat kids food. Or I'm more big with stuff to eat kids food. You know? I will start feeling. I see more people start with the breath here and everything. You know? More people start living longer and everything. If I have these years of consciousness, 